Hi, this is the last part of budgeting by using Excel. In this part, we will talk about how we can create graphs for our budget figures and how we need to read the graphs for decision making for future. And then we are going to be generating some consolidated budget information for our decision making. So we are going to be summarizing information at some point. So far, we have talked about how we can try to, well, how we can uh, well, develop our budgets for our income and for our spendings so we can have some balance, hopefully. And then we uh, develop, also, we also keep record of uh, our actual results. So we enter them into the respective cells on the Excel. So we have some differences between them that we call variance. Then we talk about how we need to uh, go analyze the variances to improve our financial situation for future. Once uh, you start developing your budget every month, then you will have some cumulative amounts at the end of the year. Then to make um, uh, reliable and consistent uh, data to be used for future, you need to summarize your information. Or if you want to see if you have too much detail on your table, then simply you need to see a kind of a picture. So Excel provides a great opportunity to represent budget figure as a graph or a chart, depending on your needs. Simply, uh, Excel is converting all of your figures to a chart or graph that you prefer. So in here on the right side on the screenshot, you see some styles, so I will be using these to convert. Depending on the language of your application, it will see you, uh, well, in your language, all of the uh, instructions. So to create a graph, all we need to do, select the area, so the range of cells that we will be converting to a graph. In here, we need to be very careful about one thing that, for example, in here on the chart, well, on the table that you see on the right side, if I also added the right column in here, so, so we have, I have the incomes uh, for the month and project balance and so on, then it wouldn't make any sense to make a readable chart or graph. You need to make sure that you're selecting something in the same well, with the same terms. So in here, I have all of the cost items that I select. After that, all I am doing is clicking on the Add button in here, as you see with the arrow. Then over there, somewhere in the middle of the uh, above tab you will see uh, the graphs so there are different types depending on your need you can select anything let me go to skip to my excel worksheet to show you how we are going to be using so in here i have the january figures again i also add some cumulative budget well uh in here so i just added all of the months and i just made some uh well numbers in here well i compared the budgets with actual so let's say this is some type of income that i'm earning from uh something extra that i'm doing so as you see i have the budget figures in here of course you can have them uh in the months And let's see how we will I, we will be using it. So to create the graph for my monthly budget, I'm selecting the area for the month for all of my costs. I'm clicking on Add. As you see in here, I, we have all different types of graphs. Depending on your need, you can select any style. Well, in here, all I can do is comparing projection to my actual result for all of the cost items that I have in here. I 
can select any side. So let's say I can select from here with columns. And I click on it. As you see in here, it just creates. So, well, simply mortgage or my rent is taking the, well, most of the space in my budget. And in here, the blue uh, part is the projection and the orange part is my actual result. So simply, I am seeing kind of a picture to compare my actuals to my um, budget, actually. I can also change it. I'm just deleting it by clicking on delete. Let's try to have something else. So you can see, you can use also this pie chart to see the share of each cost items. So, however, in here, there is no way for me to make a comparison because, well, in pie charts, you can see the pie, well, uh, different shares for different items. Therefore, I need to, well, if I need to compare my actuals to my uh, budget figures, then I need to select something else. Simply a pie chart doesn't, uh, well, serve as a comparison tool in here. So I delete it. And also, you can also use line uh, graphs as well. However, the line graphs are usually used for trend analysis. So if I had more than one month, it would be helping me. Let's try it to use on the cumulative uh, amount. So I'm selecting entire area. I have the same terms. This is very important. Otherwise, your graph doesn't mean anything. All I'm doing is just clicking. So I can see the graph with my bullets or oh, let's change it again and in here I can also use this okay so let's assume that there is no uh, well uh, number information in here so uh, all that we have is the graph let me click on this leading uh, heading Okay, when I look at this graph, I see that, okay, I was not doing very well in the first month. So, simply, there is a fluctuation in the first month. But then, well, after that, it is pretty consistent, actually. So, in here, I see that, okay, well, at some point uh, in April, after April, so my budget is pretty consistent. It is pretty much the same for my actual. So when I see this, well, uh, this graph, I believe that, okay, well, there was a great chance for me, especially in April, well, after April, let's say after April, uh, in May, I have some budget figures in here, but simply I was off much. And therefore, I keep having the same various, well, almost entire year. Simply, it shows me that I was not precisely budgeting my figures. So simply, I had a mistake when I was doing, well, developing my budget. At some point, I could fix it, but I insist in keeping the same number. So I have the same variance over and over. Well, you can think that, you can, uh, well, uh, assume that, okay, well, it doesn't matter because this is budget and these are actual. However, it matters if you're planning to make an investment, for example, for next year with the amount that you thought that you would be saving. Therefore, it is very important to see or to read these uh, graphs. If you have, let's assume that you have five years budgets and actual results for every month. Then if you compare your charts to each other, then you can also analyze the seasonal effects as well. So, well, maybe in winter you have more um, cost items because you're consuming more resources for heating, for example, and so on. So 
I hope it is going to help you to add, but also well to help you to improve your uh, well improving your financial skills for your future or financial situations. So, or let me delete this again. You can select this. In here, if you use this style, as you see, the blue um, the columns are actually representing your budget. So the orange line in here is the actual. So you can see that how you were off with your budget. So this type of picturings or this visual um, budgets are going to actually teach you what areas that you can improve or why you were off or how you can change your budget figures or where you need to change them. So, well, when you have, as I said, when you have more budgeting periods, then it will be more helpful. Click to my sheet again. Okay. So we can use any types of budget. Well, alternatively, if in here, uh, well, I use, the line, uh, well, uh, line graphs for the monthly budget. As you see in here, I have the projected amount as blue and with the actual amount with uh, orange. So I have this difference. It is not making much sense because simply I have only one month and simply I there is no information to compare to each other. So. Well, that's why I'm saying that once you have the full year budget figure with actuals, then it will be very useful to compare them. As I said, if you want to see the share of each figure, then you can use the pie chart. This is a very well helpful chart. For example, if you have a business with multiple departments and if you're assigning uh, some budgets to each department so you can compare them how they were good in terms of uh, well uh, budgeting and this is the end of budgeting course I hope it is going to be helpful for your uh, developing your own budget and please try to well start your doing well developing your budgets for your financial well-being. Thanks for participating.